been working with the Commonwealth Foundation and B3 Media um, to get it up and running and developing it. And it was really cool because sometimes living on on a little island, you, 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 you can, especially one surrounded by this big ass ocean, it's easy to forget that you're part of the world. And um, when you work with such a local story and you're working with people in other countries and they get it as well and they're helping you explore it, kind of the world doesn't seem so big. I've had 20 years kind of in the storytelling business, but it's mostly been as a writer or as an actor on stage or in front of the camera. But I've always wanted to explore um, you know, behind it and kind of telling stories using all the various departments instead of just your own writing or acting skills. So Tom's Dairy is a directorial debut for me in terms of screen, and it's an area that I really want to explore further, especially as you get too old to get in front of the camera. I learned heaps from this process, namely how to um, use up all the goodwill of all my friends and family and colleagues and getting them to work for gas or food. I learned how to not piss them off <laughs> and keep asking favours. I learned how to kind of, I learned how it, uh, whatever money you get it's never enough and that it's a constant process of um, compromise um, and I also learned about the universality of storytelling and human relationships and how thinking really specifically and locally to your own culture can still translate across you know across different oceans to other countries You can, you can make stuff to change things, but I think if you do that with that as your main goal, I think, you, I think you're missing out on other stuff. Um, I tend to think the bonus is any change. I think the real action is in actually telling the story. The rigor of the script writing and the script development process did surprise me. I um, thought I'd finished it. I thought I was finished after the first draft. I was like, yeah, yeah. Ten years in my head and a week on the typewriter and it's out. But, um, man, 20 drafts later and then the constant development. But everything made things better. And so uh, at the same time as you kind of want to know when something's finished, you should always be open to let in any light that might help it.